Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with the Beth Israel Rabbi. I'm speaking to you from Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, just south of Pittsburgh, where I've spent a little over a week with my family, with Lissa and the children, visiting our families here, celebrating Hanukkah with them, and having an opportunity to get to see them. This coming Shabbat, we read Parshat Vayigash. In this Torah portion, Yosef reveals himself to his siblings, and he tells them that they should go retrieve the rest of the family, including Yaakov, including Jacob, from the famine that is taking place in the land of Israel. Bring them back to Egypt. And Yosef, Joseph says that Pharaoh has told him that they should take chariots. The Radak, a 12th century French rabbi and biblical commentator, explains that this means that there's no way that they would have been able to take the chariots out of the land of Egypt if it had not been for the explicit permission and knowledge of Pharaoh. Pharaoh appreciated all that Yosef had done for him and for the people during the famine. A couple weeks from now, we read Parshat Shmot, and there we read, There arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And that that pharaoh enslaves the Israelites. Sforno, Italian medieval rabbi and commentator, explains that this is despite the fact that that pharaoh had at his very fingertips the books of the history of Egypt, in which he easily could have learned all that Joseph, all that Joseph had done for the previous pharaoh, all that he had done for the people of Egypt during the famine. We as human beings too easily fail to remember our history. We too easily fail to look back in the past and to understand what can happen to us today and what we need to know for tomorrow. Over the course of Jewish history, there have been good times and there have been challenges. There have been too many times of anti-Semitism, too many times in which we have faced hatred and even death at the hands of anti-Semites. That has happened over the course of the last thousands of years. Today we feel very comfortable. We feel as though we have escaped the scourge. However, even right here in Pittsburgh, a little over a year ago, we came to understand just how bad anti-Semitism can be. The outcome of anti-Semitism when 11 Jews were murdered in the Tree of Life synagogue. And unfortunately, over the course of this past year, we've seen other anti-Semitic attacks, other incidents of anti-Semitism in which people have been killed and hurt by those who hate us. This past Saturday night, as Jews in Muncie, New York, were celebrating Hanukkah, lighting their Hanukkiah, they were attacked. No one, thank God, was killed, but people were seriously injured. And we're reminded once again of the fact that we must do all that we can to remind the world of just how dangerous anti-Semitism is and to protect ourselves, to be aware of our past for the sake of today and tomorrow. So I wish you a Shabbat Shalom. I also pray that the days, weeks, months, and years to come bring nothing but shalom for all of us.